These COVID-19 patients, both young and old, wait outside one of Hong Kong's major hospitals for their turn to be seen inside a facility filled to capacity. They are finding the bed. They are finding the bed. They call us. So we wait until they find the bed. The territory's fifth wave of COVID-19 has seen daily infections surge 40 times since the start of February, with hospitals and clinics struggling to cope. These makeshift tents provide some relief to an overwhelmed medical system that has reached its capacity. The current pandemic situation is very serious, so the number of people waiting for medical treatment has surged. We've had to separate general patients from those with COVID through diversion sections outside. Hong Kong has recorded more than 25,000 cases with more than 220 deaths since the beginning of the pandemic. For residents like Yancey, who is required to provide a negative COVID-19 test to his work every week, it seems like there's no end in sight. I feel so bad for the hospital workers. They're working so hard, but the government is not doing what they should do. I hope more citizens would support them. The situation has sparked widespread criticism among members of the health and education sectors, with one doctor saying... I've worked in healthcare in Hong Kong for a decade. Our public hospitals are always stressed. We buckle every time there's a flu surge. Now, with a disease that is more transmissible and severe than the flu and requires exposed staff to quarantine, Hong Kong's hospitals are sandcastles in a tsunami. These new public housing units, which are supposed to cater to tenants, have become quarantine stations. And even these have nearly reached full capacity. But for Hong Kong's 7.5 million people, there is rising fatigue with the changing restrictions. The global financial hub is expected to introduce a vaccine pass next week that will require proof of vaccination before entering public venues. In-person classes are suspended until next month. And two years of sealed borders have effectively turned Hong Kong into one of the world's most isolated cities. And this is ultimately the scene for a region that is determined to stop COVID-19 at all costs. Jillian Wolf, Al Jazeera.